Hello guys, hello guys, welcome to another survival craft electricity tutorials. I know, but I have a time limit here. I already made one video, but it was 20 minutes, so YouTube didn't allow me. So I'm gonna go really fast so that I can cover everything within 10 to 15 minutes. So today I'm gonna teach you pistons, which is excludingly available in survival craft 2 which you need to purchase and download so here you have these three pistons uh, going to take a block for examples and a switch obviously so how is this going to work so first okay let's go slow <laughs> uh, a normal pushing piston so it looks it's pushing piston what does it do? It's too big. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it just thing it blocks away. Exactly. And when you bring it this thing back, as you can see I'm operating it with switches. It doesn't come back. That's the problem. <laughs> so it's used for pushing things. Uh, where I use it is supposedly I have like uh i can have just five pistons in a row sorry five switches in a row so i just take this thing put it a switch and just tell him to break everything they automatically break automatically they get shifted to the one side and then you can just collect it if you want to but i don't want to so let it so, so this piston i actually took that thing just away now question arises what happens if i have already uh, if there are two blocks here we it just pushes the upper block one more block away and just accommodate or just even even if you put n things which are coming in its way it will acquire its max extension which it can no matter what you do you put infinite boxes. one thing that you can do if you want to stop this share it is by using a solid diamond block now it won't work it won't work i haven't discovered any other block yet but diamond block surely doesn't work so leave it out process process yeah just awesome piston process right whatever now this is the pushing piston next piston i'm going to discuss oops is the pulling piston right for the guy pulls Oh, sorry, I just I'm in a pushing piston. In a pushing piston, uh, below your fly option, edit option, so you can edit the piston on uh, how much maximum extension does it want to have, what is the speed with which it should go, and all those things. Mostly, doesn't matter. Okay, uh, unless and you're making an elevator where you need fast, uh, where you have to be slow, or else you will be amazed when you will go up and uh, you will be flying when you come down <laughs> let me tell you that's funny but that's what happens so that's boring so let's come to a pushing uh, pulling piston now what does it does pulls they also you have edit. in this edit you also have a pull count in it how many blocks do you want me to pull so for example if i just select one block it will just and bring me one block the other is still in the air but if i put two blocks and then i go uh, sorry it will bring me to put the blocks so two blocks doesn't mean uh, the two blocks should be in the line of the working of the piston or in the direction of the propagation of the piston in case if it is perpendicular to the propagation of the piston it won't work okay you need to have it in the line you can just feel it like it the piston gives them a force to come up so if they if a block lies somewhere else it won't get that force and it won't go up you can just understand it that way okay uh, because friction force don't exist i don't know why i still walk here but friction force doesn't exist or it exists in some parts and doesn't exist in the other parts getting too too much into physics.
So this is how the pulling piston works. Uh, the, what I feel with the problem of the piston is, like supposing if I put this one block, I just told you it just get lost, and it need to bring you. It brings me one block. No issues. Now supposing I put four blocks, and I go and tell him go get four blocks. It just gives me two. Now there is an obvious reason because there was just two blocks there. So obviously it has to be two blocks. Uh, actually no. It should be like no. I won't come down unless and until I get four blocks. So for people like me who need this condition to be satisfied, they have made a third type of piston. I hope this piston is clear to you. That is a strictly pulling piston. Strictly. If I just put one block and tell him to bring four blocks, just go up, idiot. Okay, now come down. What? It won't come down, let me tell you. So, it just doesn't come down. Come on, come down. No, you won't come down. Okay. Let's put one, two, three, and the moment I put the fourth block, it goes down. So just act like a detection thing like how many blocks are there like supposing there is a very big thing up and you are just collecting four blocks at a time okay and a time comes that it doesn't come down so you can get there aren't four blocks left uh in the videos i'm gonna also teach you how to make an elevator once i teach you memory banks so that uh because we need memory banks making an elevator using pistons which is awesome elevator i guess i have time <laughs> so pistons is one which i've added another thing now what i'm going to give is a short review on what things they were added in electrics so let on the first page you see you have eight different wires eight different wires I understand this is one of the greatest things that they, they have done. If you see in our previous videos, we were gone mad in making, in wiring things. Like, like oh shit, which wire, where to go, oh my god, so confusion. Now, to stop that confusion, they have made different wires. So now, you can just go and make this. But you will say, what will the different colored wires do? The thing is, these wires, don't intersect see these wires will never ever end if I had a blue wire here it would just connect it but since I have a black wire here it just doesn't get connected super bright that's what I would like the most it you can join only one kind of wire with itself you can join the wire with itself only you cannot join it to any other colored wire Another thing what they have done is they have added two more logic gates which are again light that is the NAND gate and the NOR gate. Now what are these gates? These gates are the same as a AND gate connected to a NOT gate which is a NAND gate not AND. You can understand it that way not AND. Similarly NOR is not NOR means an OR gate connected to a NOT gate. So if you just google it up and see the truth tables of the NAND gate and the NOR gate, you will find that they are the same as putting an AND gate followed by a NOT gate to the output. Okay, why they have made this? Maybe because they wanted that two block space, uh, that one block to be, one block space to be saved which was occupied by the NOT gate before. That's it, nothing else. Another, and the last thing, two more things. Uh, pistons, as I told you. Uh, it's have orange segment LED lights, purple segment LED lights. There are two more lights. And uh, let me tell you guys, purple looks amazing. Yeah. And the last, we just go to painted and just scroll down for the last page you will see that they have also given you options for the color of your light bulbs. Now this is what I want. Color of light bulbs. So next time I make my own house, 
and I want a light bulb which matches my furniture or matches my walls. I can choose one of these. Yes. Awesome upgradation which they have done. Very good job. So I will Uh if you still ask me what do you want to do, like uh, what would you suggest? Would you suggest us to still play survival craft or upgrade to survival craft too? I'll say go upgrade it much, much, much better. What's missing? Rails. I don't know why. So, this much only. Uh, I'll just give you a very short intro to and and nor gates. And I'll also tell you how are these gates similar to these gates so let's make a map very less time four minutes to be precise i might not make up till this and uh, okay i don't have an output Uh, you can see now the both the switches are off and the and, and nor both are giving positive replies. Now if I just switch this guy, it doesn't. If I just put this, nothing happens. Putting both, it will switch off. Just opposite to the and gate. Similarly here, I just switch one of these switches or both of these switches, it just stops exactly opposite to the or gate. So you are like, oh, I had an AND gate, but I don't want that AND gate to work. I just want something opposite to working on it. Go for NAND, bro. That's for you. So guys, thank you for watching the video. I know it's been a really long time before my last video. Also, you must have noticed some personality changes. Yes, it has happened. Our next video will also come after a long time. Till May. Then, only, then I can give every video every day. Yeah, I'm not joking. I'm serious. And uh, that's it for today. In the next tutorial, I'm going to teach you some elevate some tricks on pistons which you can use. That's going to be amazing. Thank you, guys. Keep subscribing, commenting, and uh, all your problems below. And uh, keep sharing these videos to your other people. Thank you.